Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video, we're at Disney World! So I'm gonna do a flashback to kind of show you a little montage of my travel day to get here. But we just wrapped up Go Wild and all of my fun times in Texas. So we are officially in Disney World vacation mode. This is kind of like phase three of my birthday trip extravaganza and I am so excited to take you guys along in the vlogs for this trip. I just got here. Let me rewind you now and show you a little bit of my travel day and then we'll talk about the plan for today and show you around this amazing room. Goodbye. I'm waiting for the next one so we can get in the front and film it, but we've were landed. We're here. Oh, I love it. All right, I ordered my Uber. This feels <laughs> like the most luggage I've ever had. So basically, rundown, this is all of my swag. This is most of the Disney stuff that I need on this trip. And then half of this is Go Wild clothes and half is Disney, like pan, like normal clothes that I'll need. So really, ideally, I shouldn't have to open this and half of this. So really, for the next week, I'm living out of this, half of this, and my backpack. But still, this has been unique to pack and get organized for all these different like mini trips. We're here. Um, a room was ready, but it was far from the Skyliner. So I'm actually gonna wait for a room that's not ready. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get some food and just kind of relax in the main lobby area for right now. And then we'll uh, head to the room to do all of that stuff. Chicky fingers, one of my favorite Disney meals. Um, I'm probably gonna push back my dinner because um, it's only in like, three and a half or four hours and I'm starving. So I have to eat this, but I'm gonna push back my dinner maybe or change those plans. But um, I also filled up and got my resort refillable mug. So we're off to a good start. I just walked in the room, you guys. We have such a good spot. Hold on, step number one, turning down. They usually have it at like 72. That's not cool enough for here in Florida. I'm here! So I think I've decided I'm actually gonna do a separate video that's like a tour of this room and Pop Century as a whole. So I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick overview in this video and then we'll get to like the fun rest of the day. Um, but let me show you a little pan. So I love that it has my happy birthday on there. We are ready to go. Nice room situation. This is a pull down bed, but I will go more into detail in that other video that will show all about Pop Century. I love that. That's like my favorite part in here. And then, oh, it's flipped from the last time I was here. I had the shower over here last time. So a little bathroom area and a nice shower. So I can, oh, it's right next to me. Nice shower room in here. So what I'm going to do right now, ooh, we adjusted the thermostat. I'm gonna film like par the portion of the video that's gonna be, can I talk? What I'm gonna do right now is film the room tour portion of that separate video that I'm doing. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna call down to Bell Services too so that they'll bring my bags up to my room. Basically what happened is when I checked in, they were like, oh, we have a room ready. Let's get you in it and you can go right to your room. Because most people, that's what they like to do. They want to go right to their room. I said, I would actually rather wait for a different room because the room that they gave me was not in a great location. I mean, it's fine, but it was just further from the Skyliner. I said, I really wanted to be as close to the Skyliner as possible. So she did just that. I am so close. Like I can almost see it. The Skyliner is basically just like, there's like a couple more rooms of Pop Century and then the end of the building and that's where 
the Skyliner station happened. So anyway, let me film those clips and then I'll come back to you. Um, oh, the other thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go live for my Patreon members. I am gonna do that as well. So stay tuned, I'll be back in a little bit to continue with our first Disney day. All right, we have our first Disney outfit on. Just a very plain purple shirt and I actually have pants on. I think it's a little bit chilly tonight. I'm just kind of casual tonight. I'm really planning. It, it was kind of a struggle to get out of bed. Um, it's been a couple hours, but we got a little bit organized. I got like my ears and my bags out, the bags that I need open. Um, I do want to wander around. I, I'm not feeling 100%, so I am worried I'm coming down with something, but we'll see where that goes. Um, <coughs> it would just be like a little cold or something. So this is the fit for this evening. The shirt is like a little bit short, but I think I'm gonna go with it. And my dining reservation is in 25 minutes. So I don't recommend cutting it this close. Um, I may be able to make it. Sorry, I'm putting my shoes on. <laughs> Come on, Christopher. Happy vlogging, we're doing it. Um, but anyway, I am ready to go over to Epcot. Right, I just stepped foot out of my room. I wanna just show you my walk to the Skyliner. We're going in this ball thing and the Skyliner station, I think is like right on the other side of this. So hold on, I'm gonna walk down four flights and then we'll go from there. Yeah, so this is the bottom and then this is the bridge to get to the Skyliner station. We couldn't be any closer. My room is like right up there. So this is absolutely a great location. Here we go. This is why Pop Century has become my favorite value resort. Cause it's cheaper than Art of Animation, which is on the other side. And it still has quick access to the Skyliner. This is the best way to get to Epcot and Hollywood Studios from Welcome these aboard. resorts. I think, I think it's gonna start to hit me right now that I'm on property. I've kind of been in like a bubble of like, man, I'm tired. <laughs> but now that I'm on the Skyliner, going to a park, I, I just, I'm gonna try and take it in. Even though I think something's happening and we may have to take it slow for a day or two, um, I'm gonna try and power through a little bit right now while I feel okay um, and enjoy some, some park time. Now, like I said, my dining reservation's in 20 minutes. So I may not make it, I'm gonna be a little late, but usually they're flexible, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna kind of leisurely stroll. I'm also in pants. I don't remember if I told you, it's still warm. I'm not like fully ready. I'm not like, like my bag, I don't have like a lot of my normal park essentials, like my fan and sunscreen and stuff like that. I just didn't, didn't really fully unpack and get settled in because I just collapsed in my bed because I was so tired from Go Wild. So this is kind of a weird start to a Disney trip. The thing though is I'm here early. So the trip doesn't fully start until I would say Thursday. Like Thursday's the first day I have plans. We're doing the things. Tonight and tomorrow is really just solo time with me to like ease into the trip post go wild. So I'm actually okay if tonight and tomorrow really just ends up being super slow. Like <clears throat> tomorrow, like I said, I plan to go to two different parks. Hopefully that'll happen, we'll see. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning, but I don't wanna push too hard because that can ruin a trip. Even when you're not like coming from another trip, so. But I'm so excited to show you so many new things in this vlog series, so I, I hope you'll stick around Please for the ride. But we're coming into the Caribbean the Beach station, so I just have to switch carts or tracks to the line that goes to Epcot. So just a quick transition, but it shouldn't take more than a minute. We're here. My dinner's in like three minutes, so we're gonna be a little late, but that's okay because it's literally like right there. I picked dinner here on purpose because I knew I'd be tired. So, but here we go. We're going into the park for the first time. I think this is when I'm gonna really feel like it's real. And it's flower and garden, so everything is so pretty. I already saw 
a topiary. I will show them to you. Today's not necessarily that day, so stay tuned for a future vlog. We're here just one minute late, so not too bad. Oh my gosh, we have a French onion soup. The most expensive champagne. I'm loving the dining plan already. And this is my view. I could cry. This is huge. Fork for scale. Oh my god. A little creme brulee for dessert. Okay, so the restaurant is kind of behind me there. It was really good. So with the dining plan, how it basically works, which I'll have a whole separate video about it, but you receive credits. So this was a table service credit. And with that credit, at most restaurants, um, you can get like an entree and a dessert and a drink. Here, they had a special that you could also get an appetizer. So I got my money's worth. Like if I paid out of pocket, this would have cost me $90 or something like that. But with the dining plan, I paid $90 for like multiple credits. So I'll explain it in a separate video if you um, have questions about it. But the food was pretty good. So appetizer, French onion soup, really good. Probably the best French onion soup that I've had. Um, you had like a French baguette that was really good. I, I splurged and got the champagne because it was free or included, I should say. That was good. The entree was my least favorite part. It was still good. It just was like a fancy mac and cheese and it was a little bit plain, but it was still really good. Um, but dessert was the best part. The creme brulee was flippin' delicious. So overall, great first use of the dining plan. Um, I think I'm going to kind of just wander a little bit. Good evening. But towards the exit. Tonight at nine o'clock. We're not we staying. We're not doing that. Maybe another night, not tonight. But anyway, I'm just actually standing here and taking in this view. This is one of my favorite views, just like standing in World Showcase, looking across the water. There's a breeze, it's beautiful weather. Like I'm in pants right now and I am so comfortable. So uh, the exit that I'm taking is literally right there. I think I am gonna walk a little bit further, at least into the UK and just, just to be in the park a little bit longer. Um, but I would like to get an early night tonight and get a really good night's sleep. So um, I don't think we'll have too, too much more park time, but I don't know, part of me is like, oh, I should stroll all the way up to the Epcot ball so I can like take a photo. So we'll see how I'm feeling when I get <laughs> over there. Okay, so I didn't come far. This is the Brit, like France is right over there. Just wanted to point this out. This is one of my favorite spots to come away from the hustle and bustle that's literally right there. Most of the day this is open. Sometimes they shut it off for like events or for fireworks viewings, um, but it's very peaceful, calm. They're even down this way are some more steps into like this secret little, like this is the bridge to go to the UK. So this is where I am, but not a lot of people here usually. It's very peaceful. You can see people eating over here in the UK, but uh, I love this spot. All right, walking into UK, um, there are a couple really cool shops over here that I discovered last time because I studied abroad in London. And so I was like, I never even thought to put London and um, Disney together. And they have a lot of really cute merch. I didn't end up buying anything last time, but I'm just gonna take a little sneak peek. Look at this. So we're out of the UK. We're walking out of the UK. Um, there was really cute Winnie the Pooh ones. You can kind of see them in the distance, but I decided to not backtrack because we'll be over there a ton of times again, I'm sure. Um, and I am, it's actually eight o'clock, you guys. So I am gonna start to slowly trickle out um, because nine o'clock is when the fireworks are. So that's when there's like a ton of people in this area. So I'm still gonna look in the shops on my way out and do a slow, leisurely um, Skyliner situation. So I may not even be back in my room till like nine. That's not that <laughs> early. So I am going to uh, continue my leaving the park. But to give you an idea here of eight o'clock at night, the park closing in one hour. This is what, Frozen Ever After, 55 minutes. 
uh, Mission Space 5 or 20, Test Track 50, just to show you some of the uh, wait times at this time at night. I didn't do too much damage, just one shirt in UK, which I'll have to think about, but um, I also picked up one of these so I can take a look at maybe some items that I would like over the next couple days. But it's time for this beauty. This is my favorite form of Disney transportation. So if you stay at Pop Century, Art of Animation, Riviera, or one of these like right here by Epcot, am I missing any? Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, this is a huge perk of that, having these Skyliners. It just is nicer than taking the bus to the park, let's be honest. It doesn't get you to all the parks, but it does get you to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So just got off the Skyliner. This way, Art of Animation Resort, right there. This way, Pop Century. So they share the Skyliner station. Um, I think that Art of Animation is in my opinion, I like the theming better over there because it is like just the Disney movies. However, those rooms have not been renovated as recently as Pop Century. So I actually like the rooms better over here at Pop and it's a little bit cheaper typically. So that's why I say this is my favorite resort. So I could go up to my room since it's like literally right here, but I want to go to the main building to refill my refillable mug. I want to chug a vitamin water because that'll like feel good or be good with the electrolytes. But I also kind of want a hot tea. I feel like that'll be really good. So I'm going to chug a vitamin water and then I'll have a hot tea. And then I think we'll also just kind of look around the, um, the pop shop a little bit to see if there's any goodies over there. And then we'll come back to the room just to chill. Um, I am ready to chill. I actually feel okay. I just would love to be in bed by like 9.30 at the latest so we can have a solid, a solid night's sleep tonight. But I'll turn you around. My room is up on that fourth floor somewhere right here in the 60s section. This is also the 50s section. Um, I think, yeah, 60s and 50s right here in the center. And we're coming up on the main hippy dippy pool area, which I believe is still gonna be open. Oh yeah, there's like a movie. The pool's open till 11 o'clock tonight. Oh my goodness. I may have to see what movie this is. Maybe we'll come sit. There's chairs on the other side. I'm on the back side right now, but I love that they do that. But. Anyway, here is the uh, main pool area here. I lied. I said that was 50s on the other side of the pool. No, that's the whole 60s section, but we're here. And we're back in the room. I am tired. It's like nine o'clock too, so it took us a full hour after I like did the shopping, went to the pop stuff. Um, I chugged the vitamin water and I now have a hot decaf tea here. So I think that'll feel good on my throat. Um, but it's like nine o'clock. I'm gonna try and push through and get just a little bit organized. Just a little bit, like get some bags out of the way, make things look nice. I also wanna click this down one more. Yeah, I think that's good. It's like not cool enough in here. Um, but this was a great first day. I want to, like I said, I like to get a little organized, just like display my ears and my lounge fly bags. And like, I have a lot of things to charge. So I have to get those chargers out to charge my, you know, um, magic pan and portable charger and things like that. So I'm going to take some time to do that and then just collapse. So um, thanks so much for following along. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.